hey YouTube, I didn't see you there. You look good. I just came up my invisible stairs of awesomeness. Go to the stairs. It's just a floor. So, sorry I haven't posted a video in two months. I've been very busy with the new school year, and I have dance company, and this is what I do. Okay, and I got braces. If you haven't even, if you haven't noticed yet, braces. Today I want to talk about the truth about lying. So the reason I'm doing this is because last week my coat um got lost at school, Aww. um and I and someone took it. I don't know why, but um when I confronted them. It was easy to tell that they were lying. Lying like a cheap rug. Lying like a penny in the parking lot of a grocery store. Lying like a pine tree in my backyard after a major storm. See what I did there? I want to tell you what to look for when someone's lying to you. The truth about lying. Yeah. Number one, eye contact. They never look you directly in the eyes when they lie. If they don't look you in the eye when they're giving you the answer, that means they're lying. And also, if they look at you too long in the eye after the answer. Did you take my lunch? <laughs> no, um, I think you should check over there. Where? Over there! Two, grooming. They're trying to come up with a, an answer, so they groom themselves, they get nervous. Those are nervous body movements. Did you just eat my pizza? No! Um, I'm a, I'm a vegetarian. Three, voice pitches. If their voice changes from hi to no, they're probably lying like this. Did you cheat off of me on the test we took? What? No. What? Me? No. Why would I do that? Yeah, that's the example. Four, this type of line is called feet to the exit. What the person who's lying trying to do is their brain is saying, we're about to be busted, let's make a run for it. But their mouth says, I'm trying to cover up my lie. This type of body language looks like this. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh. If only I knew where it was, or who stole it. I'm so sorry for your loss. And last but not least, number five, the story. They make up a very long and elaborate story with a lot of details. This is what fairy tales are made out of. So this is kind of how it happens. Hey, why couldn't you um come over yesterday? Oh, well, you see, I was at church, and at church we the whole time, mostly, we have to pray for four hours, and I didn't have my flip-flops. Oh, and then you're supposed to have blue flip-flops, so, and I didn't have any blue flip-flops, so my mom had to drive all the way to Canada because that's the only place they make the certain type of blue flip-flops. And then she had a flat tire, so, and then she went to the airport, and then, there was no plane because flip-flops from Canada? Do you wish you had your Canadian flip-flops for church? Well, do I got the pride for you. We have Canadian flip-flops. They come in blue, black, silver, and all your Canadian colors for church. Just put them in the fountain and that 
that's worth bet. Buy one, get a half one for free! Thank you so much for watching and to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or on my Instagram. And to find out more about my channel and watch all my videos, click on the links below. So give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe right here. Eat more bacon. Bye! Invisible stairs. To watch my run around tour interviews, click here. To watch my very funny CCM news, click here. To subscribe to my channel, click here, here, and possibly right here and here. So thanks for watching.